Hey everybody, I'm Don, and I want to talk to you about an active cluster feature known as pod failover preference. So what I have in front of me is active cluster. I've got array A and host A connected to it at site A, and then array B and host B are running a virtual machine at site B. In this case, I've got what's called non-uniform connectivity, meaning the host is only connected to array B at site B, and host A is only connected uh, to flash array A at site A. And the, what the pod failover preference does is it lets you, as the administrator, set which flash array you'd prefer the volume to continue running at if the two arrays lose connection to one another. So uh, in this case, I have a virtual machine running an app at site B. My preference would be, if the two arrays lose a connection, my preference would be for this virtual machine to continue running without disruption at this site. In the absence of this preference, I have to rely on chance in which array wins the mediation race out to the Pure One Cloud Mediator first. So think of that as a coin toss. I'd like a little more certainty than that, so I'm going to set a preference on the pod that says this VMFS data store is going to stay online at site B if at all possible. So how does that work? So what that looks like is uh, if the link between the two flash arrays, the replication links, if those fail or get cut, uh, each of the two flash arrays recognizes the fact that that's happened, and it performs what we call a mediation race. So flash array B does its race over the management network out to the Pure One Cloud Mediator. Flash array A does the same thing, but because we've done this preference, flash array A gets a six second delay added to its race, which gives a huge advantage to flash array B, almost guaranteeing that it's going to win this race. Where uh, this is also an advantage um, in terms of architecture is because this isn't a static or a, a hard set value, if for some chance flash array B um, actually has failed or, or been destroyed or lost power, flash array A after waiting six seconds, can still win this mediation race and keep the pod online and allow VMware, VMware HA in this case, to restart things disruptively at this site. But in this case, because uh, site B had that advantage, B is my winning site, that's going to allow the VMFS data store and the uh, volume to continue running here. The virtual machine stays online. Array A loses. Array A suspends I.O., no longer allows reads, writes, inquiry out to this volume because it's lost. However, my application is continuing to run, no disruption, and uh, I get the desired results. So take advantage of this uh, pod failover preference if you're setting up active cluster. Uh, it's going to give you better results than if you just leave it to chance. So worthwhile to, to make the effort to go through and change this um, to appropriate settings within your environment. If you have any questions about this feature, you can go to purestorage.com, or you can talk to your Pure account team, and they can give you more details about how to set this up. Thank you.